The name Yukio Okutsu has been spoken often this year in connection with the tragic deaths of 27 residents in the state veterans home in Hilo that bears his name. But on this Veterans Day, we remember Yukio Okutsu for the heroism and patriotism he embodied on the battlefield and for decades after World War II. Gina Manjiri reports. April 7, 1945 was just another tough day for the Japanese-American 442nd Regimental Combat Team. Yukio Okutsu was among those staked out in an uphill battle on Mount Belvedere along Italy's coast. The Germans held the high ground, firing down from fortified nests. We got stuck there, and so, I, you know, the machine gun was firing on us. The young platoon sergeant from Koloa, Kauai, knew what he didn't want to do. You don't expect your, your men to charge one machine gun like that. So he made a move, unbeknownst to the Germans and even to his own brothers-in-arms. So I was in position, I can crawl, and then, you know, I got in position where I can throw a grenade. And throw he does. One, two, down goes the first nest. Close call for Okutsu himself. At the first one, yeah, I took some fire, and one hit me on my helmet. But under cover of brush, he zigzags on. I hit the machine gun nest, so then I moved from there, and I, I outflanked the next machine gun nest, and they gave up. That's a modest way of saying he captured two Germans there and four more at a third nest. He was going for broke. That's, that's so true. It's a term that the guys would use on their gambling, you know, playing dice, um, playing cards. And what it really means is we're going to go all in. We're going to shoot the works. We're going to give it our all. By dark, the 442nd held all the cards, the last of the ridges. I was just lucky, I guess. Yeah, somebody up there take care of me. Maybe it was God. Maybe it was Sadao Munamori, who'd given his life days before, running a similar gauntlet close by on the Gothic line. He charged the Nazi machine gun nest. He took out a couple of the nests, and as he was returning to his crater, a grenade hit him on the helmet, and it bounced in front of two of his fellow soldiers, and he instinctively and immediately threw himself on the grenade and took the blow, and he saved the lives of his two fellow soldiers but in the process lost his own. In the year 2000, President Bill Clinton awarded Okutsu and 19 others from the 442nd the Medal of Honor. I'm glad that at least they recognize uh, the Japanese soldiers, even if it's 50 years after. I'm Thank thankful that we got something, not for only me, but you know, for the whole Japanese community. Okutsu died in 2003 at the age of 81. In 2008, the state's only veterans' home opened on the Big Island, bearing the name of the hero from Hilo, even if he had to go from Kauai to Italy to get there. It's a home where nearly 100 veterans at a time can find care and respite in their golden years. Tragedy struck this year in a deadly COVID outbreak that took 27 lives, never to be forgotten. But always remember what the name Yukio Okutsu stood for before 2020. It's a shame that his name is now going to be associated with the COVID pandemic because of the tragedy that's happening at the home. But the truth is, he was a great American hero. They fought for our nation. They fought for liberty and justice and for America's promise. Gina Mangieri, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.